Hey, welcome back to the Chase and Flavor of Kitchen. And today we're just six days away from Christmas. So we're gonna continue with our holiday appetizer series. We're going ultra simple, but super delicious. We're doing a three ingredient keto spinach dip. Oh yeah. So jumping right into it, like I said, it's just three ingredients, super simple. This is a uh, bag of frozen cut spinach that I've already taken, I've thawed it, and then I have some cheesecloth that I put it in and I squoze all the extra liquid out of that I can. So it's pretty dry now. Got some shredded Monterey Jack cheese right here. I would have liked to have bought a brick of the Monterey Jack and shredded it myself, uh, but unfortunately my local store did not have that, so I just got the pre-shredded, that's about four cups right there. And then I got a can of what is normally known as Rotel, this is store brand, so it's diced tomatoes and green chilies. But that's all it's gonna be. So we're gonna take this right here. The uh, uh, recipe that I'm gonna link in the description is a little bit less than this. It calls for like six ounces of spinach. This is 12 ounces right here. It calls for three total cups of cheese. I'm gonna use all four. It calls for one can of Rotel. I'm still gonna keep it with the one can. So really ultra simple. We're just gonna take it, two cups of the cheese right there. Boom, let me go ahead and get the Rotel. We're gonna get it mixed up and I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese in there. And then we're gonna get it off into our dish that's gonna go in a 400 degree oven. I've already got that preheated. So I'm actually gonna, oh my goodness, my can opener is not wanting to work. So I'm gonna use one of my cast iron dishes because I like to make it in cast iron there. You can use a casserole dish, basically anything that you wanna bake it in right there, right? That's what you can use. So let's go ahead and put this in. I do have a glove on because I'm gonna mix it by hand. It's just gonna be a little bit easier for me, I think. So I'm just gonna mix this up. Whoop, come back here, tomato. So just gonna give it a good mix. And then we're gonna get just a little bit more cheese in there and then we're gonna save some of the cheese back for after we get it into the dish, we're gonna put that cheese on top. And that's all, that's all there is to this, uh, you know, this, uh, this spinach dip. You can of course add anything you want to it. You know, this is a more of a keto option so there's no artichoke in there because that's not strictly keto. I won't be eating it as keto because I'm gonna be eating this with some Tostitos chips, some uh, tortilla chips, that kind of thing. But I mean, it's perfectly good with pork rinds, some celery sticks, whatever, right? All right, so that's a pretty good mix there. I'm just gonna get, like I said, a little bit more cheese down in there and then we'll save the majority to go on top there, the majority of this bag at least. All right. Put that to the side, a little more mix. Oop, caught that tomato, tried to jump out. It's probably not the best bowl. I probably should have got a little bit bigger bowl, but this was the one that I had the bag of spinach sitting in, in the fridge thawing. So I figured, well, I'll just use that too. That way I don't have to dirty another bowl. All right, so I've got my cast iron lodge grill pan right here. It's the lodge number four. I figured this was a good size because I have a 12 inch cast iron from Lodge, which is probably a little bit too big. And then I have, I believe it's either a six or an eight inch and that's a little too small. So I figured this would be a good size to kind of put it in there. All right, so dump this bad boy off in there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I like this. Smells really good too. You can of course add any seasonings that you want to it. I did just clean the countertop. That's why I'm just putting all of it back in there. I cleaned it right before we started filming here. So we're just gonna spread this out in there, make it look nice and kind of kind of flat. There we go, perfect. And now we're gonna go in just a little bit more of that cheese right on top. I'm just making this an ultra cheesy dip because normally. I believe like a spinach artichoke dip is gonna have some kind of like cream cheese or something in there to make it really creamy. But the Monterey Jack is doing that in this case. There we go. Ultra simple, spread that out. Now, like I said, we've got a 400 degree oven that this bad boy is gonna go in. It has a time on the recipe. I think it's like 10, 15 minutes. Basically, you're gonna go until this is nice and hot and bubbly and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the, uh, in the oven and we will be back shortly and we'll show you what it looks like and then we'll give it a nice taste test too. All right, so this is done. Let's get it out of the oven. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. As you can see, it's bubbling. It's really hot, right? So I ended up doing it 40 minutes. Uh, not 40 minutes, excuse me, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. 
And then I did uh, do the broiler on high for maybe a minute, two minutes, somewhere in that range, basically to get this golden color. It was still, it was a uh, little golden around the edges, but it's still just kind of white and melty, bubbly. Looked good, don't get me wrong, but this looks even better, right? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna be very careful not to touch any of the cast iron around it because that is very hot. Got some of my favorite chips right here on the border chip. Let's bust it open and we're gonna go right in here. Oh, yeah, right in. Let's give it a try. Whoo, very hot. Look at that steam coming right off of that bad boy. Look at it, it looks good though. Whoop, and a drip. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, really good. I mean, obviously you get a lot of that spinach flavor. There's a lot of spinach in there. The Monterey Jack cheese is the perfect choice because it's kind of a medium cheese. It's mild. There's not a real harsh or hard flavor to it. So it pairs really nicely with everything else in there. It melts up really beautifully, as you can see, but absolutely a great dish. The Rotel gives a little bit of spiciness, but you also get the tomatoes. It's not super spicy. Overall, it's really nice. I like it. Maybe next time what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of seasoning, some kind of uh, rub or barbecue rub or some kind of seasoning down there just to spice it up just a little bit more. But this is a good overall simple appetizer that everyone's going to like because you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't like this flavor, I don't like this flavor. This is just straightforward. It's delicious. You know, you can make it different for yourself like I'm going to do next time. But this is absolutely delicious. I like it as is and I'm going to I'm going to tear this up. So we'll see you next time.